Week three is done. It's time to get ready for that first project. So I made it through this week, but I gotta be honest, I haven't been as committed as I should be. Did I make it through the 12 hour minimum? Yeah, but I haven't made up for the previous week, which I kind of skimped on. And why is that? Well, I have a certification in MongoDB that I had to take an exam for on Monday. So as much as I've been sharing about this React journey, I've actually been doing a lot more with MongoDB. But that's a separate video. Let's talk about this week. So I actually went back to the main course and I went through a lot of the lessons. They are the best. I got through all the information and got to the final project and I was looking for additional resources but it came to my attention that all the resources that Udacity has there and the additional stuff that they also include is really what you should be focusing on. So what I did is I just went back to the start and started taking detailed notes and reading everything as close as I could because I'm still fuzzy on React. And again, that's in part because of the MongoDB studying that I've been doing. Now let's get one thing straight. Udacity's program is top notch, but it's great to see that even a top level company can have errors in their production quality as well. In this lesson, we'll use React DOM because we're working in the browser. So we'll say React what? DOM. Whoa, that was a crazy edit. But like I said before, everything's up to date. I, I just love that I don't have to go somewhere else to see what's the newest thing with JavaScript. Udacity is on top of it. It is the most current stuff about React. They had one additional resource there uh, that had a book included and I was gonna go through that, but I looked through it and it's outdated. So the section that they had was good, but the whole book wasn't. And that's where I really started just going through the material again. Ah, the project, the first project. Let's talk about that. The first project is like an organizer for books. There's one that will say like has read, will read, read. I haven't looked too much into it, but that's the gist of it. You can see it on screen here and uh, it's pretty dope. Now moving forward, next week after I'm done with this MongoDB exam, I'll be able to focus a lot more on React and make up for that time that I've missed. And this project is coming up. It's due on the 4th of August. So I'm a little bit stressed about it, to be honest. Instead of 12 hours, I'll be doubling that time so I can make sure to get this project done and move on to the next section of the course. Do I feel prepared for this project? No, not yet, but I do believe if I go through all the course material again and focus hard on it, I will be. But I have to put in a lot of time. Because I have been slacking on my hours, I will have to go back and double that time to make sure that I have plenty of time to meet the deadline for this project. Have a question or comment? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below and I'll answer your question as soon as possible. Haven't subscribed? You can do so by clicking on the icon here. If you want to watch my entire React journey, be sure to click the playlist there. Looking for something else? The Google algorithm has selected this video based on your specific preferences. The robots are taking over! Ah! How do they know everything about us? Do you like this new outro or do you prefer the old one with me on camera? Let me know in the comments. And as always, keep on learning!